Okay, so now that we know what makes up the leader, I'm going to show you how to construct a leader right within Adobe Premiere Pro. So if we launch Adobe Premiere Pro and create a new project and make sure that the project goes to the local disk and let's name our project leader and use our typical settings of 1080p AVC HD 1080p 30 and I'm gonna call it name my sequence leader click OK now Adobe Premiere Pro has the ability to create all the elements of the video leader right within the program and they're all kind of in the same place I'm gonna actually show you two ways to create the slate um, well, let's start out with the color bars if you go under file and new you'll see from that drop down menu you have a number of choices and down toward the bottom we actually have bars and tone and slightly below that we have HD bars and tone uh, standard bars and tone standard color bars and in HD color bars are slightly different but you could use either one because most places will be able to calibrate using either set of color bars and most places are actually accustomed to using just standard color bars which would be the bars and tone uh, for the sake of this example we're just going to use standard color bars so I'm going to click on the bars and tone and you'll see um, new bars and tone this pop-up window will come up and all these settings will just match your current project settings so you don't really have to change anything here just click OK and you'll notice immediately bars and tone are added to your project window now we're gonna get the next element of the leader we're gonna go to file new and if you remember from the logo animation lesson we learned to make a color mat and we could certainly make a color mat and just pick the color black but if you look just above that you notice there's there's already a selection for black video so just to stay, save us a click we're just gonna click on black video and we know that's absolute black and again it's gonna bring up your project settings it's gonna match the black video to your current project settings so you just wanna click OK then the next element that we're gonna need is going to be our slate and there's actually two ways that you could create that slate. I'm going to show you how to create it within Adobe Premiere without leaving Premiere. But you could actually, if you wanted to, get a little, um, a little more intricate with what your what your slate design looks like. Um, you could create that in Adobe Photoshop, and Premiere will actually bridge to Photoshop and link to Photoshop so that you could create the file in Photoshop and once you save it and you come back that file will show up in your bin and we'll go over that separately but right now I'm going to show you how just how to create it right within Adobe Premiere Pro and we're just going to click on title and again same thing new title comes up and it's just going to match your project settings I'm going to name my title slate just show it so it shows up as slate in our project window and we click OK and it's going to open up Premiere Pro's title designer and I'm just going to create a real basic title um, just put our name here and let's say that we're doing a one minute commercial or project I'm gonna put that in is zero hours one minute zero seconds and zero frames maybe the date um, and any other information that you find important um, that 
you think might be important or if your end client specifies what information you need in the slate which could possibly be um, then you might need to put that information there but we're just gonna make this really straightforward um, nothing fancy um, use whatever text you want just make it something easy to read and keep it white text on black is really the simplest method to go sometimes if you see a slate you'll see logos company logos and sometimes they even include the countdown they combine the countdown and slate together but for the sake of this demonstration because of the way not these are configured and because of the way they configure the leader for skills USA we're just going to keep it real simple. So once we have all that information that we want, we just close out the titler and it automatically adds that slate to your project banner. Now the only thing left to do is to get the, the counting leader, which again is something that's right in Premiere. You don't have to import it from anywhere. You don't have to create it anywhere else. You could just go to File, New, and universal counting leader. Click on that. It's going to come up again. Just match it to your project settings. So just click OK. And you're going to get this choice of setting up your leader. And there's some different things here. You could leave all the default options. Um, there's a Q blip at second starts. That will just give you a little blip at each, at each second. Um, it doesn't matter if you turn that on or off. You could do it either way. It really doesn't matter. A lot of times automation systems will use those blips to actually cue the start. So if you know that if your end client requires that, you could turn that on. Um, and they would be in your contract or your instruction set if it's from Nocti or Skills USA. They would tell you the specifics if they need anything specific like that. So either way, you could leave that on or off. The rest of this, the controls here, are just if you wanted to change the colors of this countdown. And we're not going to do any of that. You don't. You can if you want to be, if that makes you feel more creative. <laughs> if you want to change some colors, I guess you could do that. Um, and then just click OK. And it will add your countdown right here. And if we scrub through that, you could see the countdown. So we have all the elements in our project window. The only thing left is to start assembling them in the order needed in your timeline and make sure that they are the correct times. So the very first thing we're going to put according to our instructions, we're doing 30 seconds of color bars, 10 seconds of black, a 10 second slate, and the counting leader. So it's 30 seconds of color bars, 10 seconds of black, 10 seconds of the slate, and the counting leader, which if you look is actually 11 seconds. So we'll put our color bars in the timeline first, just drag them in there, and you'll notice you get, you get both bars and tone. And it's a one kilohertz tone. If you notice, the levels are at exactly negative 12, which is where you should be at with digital audio to avoid any clipping. And there's a couple ways we could make the color bars exactly 30 seconds. We could kind of drag it out on the timeline. And if you do that, it's, it's going to be a little def difficult to get it at exactly 30. If you try it, you'll notice you'll get close. You'll get 29, 29, but you won't get exactly 30. So what we're going to do, instead of doing that, we're going to right click on the color bars and go to something called speed duration and this way you could type in the exact duration of 30 seconds. You want to be exact on these times um, just like your program. If your program is required to be a minute long you should actually be just slightly under a minute. It will be like 59.29. Um, so we're going to put in 30 seconds exactly click OK and it's gonna make those color bars exactly 30 seconds. Then we're gonna put in our black video and again same thing 
You can either drag it out to 10 seconds, right click, speed dura duration, make that exactly 10 seconds. Then you'll do the same thing with the slate. Put the slate in, right click, speed duration, change it to exactly 10 seconds. When it comes to the counting leader, you cannot change the time of the counting leader. It is a set amount of time because it's a countdown and you can drop that in next. And then you have your leader. And you have, it starts with color bars and your black video, your slate, and then your counting leader. Which you can see has the blips on every second. You have a little blip there. And your program will start right after that. Now let's say you wanted to create the slate. We said earlier that you could create the slate in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. I'm going to remove our slate from our timeline and just leave the space there. And I'm going to go up under File, New, and click Photoshop File. And just like everything else we've done, it's automatically going to conform that new Photoshop file to our project dimensions and settings. We'll click OK, and first it's going to ask you to name your file. So it's actually going to create your file. It's going to default to your project folder, so everything's in one place. So we will name that. I'm actually going to call it PS for Photoshop Slate, so we know the difference between this slate and the one we created right in Premiere. And click Save, and then it will launch Adobe Photoshop. And you'll just have a blank project, a blank canvas that matches the dimensions of your project. And you could create that slate using any of the methods we learned in class on creating graphics in Adobe Photoshop. And automatically you see it gives you your safe area guides so that you could create it and stay within safe area. Again, we're going to do all the same things we did with the other slate. And once we create that, uh, we could just click Save, File Save, and once we exit Premiere, or once we exit Photoshop, you'll notice that it puts that PS Slate file right in your project window. Now I could just put that in that space we allowed from the last slate. I'm just going to drag it out to bump up against the counting leader, and there you have the slate from Adobe Photoshop. Now one thing to keep in mind, we talked about this before, we, we haven't actually done this. Um, with Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro allows you the ability to nest sequence within other sequences. So I have this leader sequence. Let's say I want to create my project in a separate, I could create that in a separate sequence. And you'll understand why we would do that in a second. So let's just go, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go to File, New, and create a sequence. And it's going to default to your same setting, so you can leave everything OK. And I'm just going to name this Program, because this is going, going to simulate what my, where my program video would go if I was cre creating something and using a leader at the beginning of it. And I would have this other sequence that automatically shows up in my project window. So now I have two sequences. I have the leader and I have the program. So I could just create my program and edit my video and get it to exactly the time needed, the 1 minute, or the 59, 20, 28, thereabouts. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put a color mat in there to simulate my project and I'm going to just make that video a, a red clip and we'll call it program just because it's simulating what my program video would be and this would be your actual edit here and this way you could make it to the exact length of time and then if you wanted to once you were done editing your program you could go back to your leader sequence 
and if you want to put this program right at the end of this leader, you see here this program sequence here, indicated by this little icon here. That's the icon for sequence. I could take that sequence and just like a clip, drop it right into my timeline. So I'm going to have my, my, my leader here with my color bars, my black video, my slate, and my counting leader. And I'm going to drop that program sequence right at the end of that. And then I have my leader and followed by my, my program video, whatever that program video would be. It's that simple to just put a sequence inside of another sequence. And that's it. That's how you create a video leader. That video leader should be on any project you hand in for class. And usually if you're doing something for broadcast or a client, as I showed you in the contract that I showed you, um, usually you'll get some kind of specifics like that from your end client specifying what exactly they want in their leader, how, ma how many seconds of color bars they need, how much black video, and that could vary just depending on their system and how they do things. And you just follow that and make your leader according to those instructions or that contract or whatever it is you're following to create your leader.